First up, Arr. a swashbuckler from Toronto who hopes the Dragons will see his business proposal is ship shape. Ahoy, Dragons. My name is Matt Slayman. I'm from Pirate Life on Toronto Islands, and we're looking for 150,000 gold doubloons for 25% of the plunder. <laughs> Families in the summertime are always looking for something fun to do. So last year I built a 45-foot pirate ship. This is just our baby ship, of course. Families will join us, get dressed in costume, face paint, pirate names, sashes, bandanas, headbands. They'll join our crew of actors and search for treasure on this one-hour adventure. So since I couldn't bring the ship in today, I'd like to give you the opportunity to meet my crew. Well, hello there. <laughs> My name is Seabird McFarlane, and I am an Irish pirate here on Pirate Life Adventure Cruise. Ahoy there, dragons. I be your captain, Jack, you see? Arr! Ahoy there! I am fearful Phoebe Finnegan the Ah, uh, If you don't know me, I am Raimundo Roberto Ricardo Roderico Consuelo Alejandro Fernando Contigripanti. <laughs> Would you guys like to hear a pirate sea shanty? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I swear by the moon, and I swear by the moon, and the salt from the sea, and the salt from the sea. We're living a pirate's life where we can be free. Head in the bed with the setting of the sun, and I'll wake up tomorrow and have some more fun, because we all are pirates. Arr. to invite some of you dragons to come aboard come our aboard. ship. Come on, let's go, guys. Okay. Okay. Let's take a ship if we can. I have a sash there. Oh. Matt has a license to operate the tour on Toronto's Center Island. He plans to launch the business this summer. My friends, how's the view? How's the view? What can you see? Oh, it's great. I see. Oh, I see treasure. Oh, I see the money. Far away. <laughs> the coins. We call that booty. All right, lassie. The ship holds 33 passengers, and Matt plans to charge $25 per person for a one-hour cruise. Matt, I love being a pirate again. I know you do, Jim. I just feel I like a kid. You guys just, are having a lot of fun. I'm just, I, really I know that. you're a big kid inside. Great. All yeah, are. we have the kid came out again. <laughs> Okay, how does this thing undo? Ah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> okay, so what's your background? Have you been a pirate? Ah, well, I've always worked in tourism and entertainment. And the business model, it does exist across various cities in the US. It has been successful there over 10 years. Okay. And there was a stint for four years where I worked for a company offering a similar product. I tried to work with that individual to replicate the model, but they weren't very interested in sharing the plunder. So I decided I had to go with my own. Mm-hmm. They made me walk the plank, if you want to say it like that. That's good. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Have you done a pro forma uh, revenue of wh where you think you'll Yes, this end year up we're expecting season? to do two hundred to two hundred fifty thousand dollars over a hundred days. In five years we'll reach uh, half a million with much ease. Matt, why do you need the $150,000? Like, you're already set to go, your, your boat. It's a long-term play. We're looking to have another boat in the water in another city. And what are your costs per day to operate the ship with all your staff, it's a good all question. the maintenance? The cost per day is probably um, in the 500 plus range. Got it, so $50,000 per year. And then we also have the fixed cost, the land, the vessel, the lease, etc. That's anywhere from fifty to seventy-five thousand dollars a year. But twenty-five dollars is not very much. Don't you think you could charge more? I think we could, because it's our first year, and I, I also have this vision of making theater accessible. Because if you look at the cost of going to see a show here in Toronto after a family of four is impossible. But your overhead right? costs are so much yeah. for only thirty-three people. Yeah. The math just doesn't seem no, to doesn't. work. I, I work this out that you're probably you know without taking a salary for yourself. And just looking at offering the business, you're probably looking somewhere between 100 and 125,000 at best for the year. And after tax, it's hard to get a reinvestment rate going, especially with a $600,000 valuation. That's why we're looking for help to build another boat so we can. And I'm looking for help to get the valuation down. Ah. <laughs> It's great, but you know, there's a lot of those boats that you know that fit a lot more people than 33. Want to go that route? 
One thing that is also in the plan, we didn't do it for this year's launch, but it will be for hopefully next year. We can make some adjustments to the physical structure of the boat and increase that passenger capacity. It can get up to 45 passengers. It's all regulated by Transport yeah, and then Canada. You got, yeah, Transport Canada is going to get in there after 45. Yeah, exactly. I love the concept, but you got to get some more revenue because right now, with the exception of the crew, which is worth a lot, yeah. the valuation <laughs> is, is too, too high for me. You know, I'll never get my money back. So for that reason, I'm going to step out. Yeah. I think that the magic for you getting this business right is making sure the boat is full. Just get that inventory management piece right, and you'll probably build a good business for yourself. For me, it's not the growth curve I'm looking for when I invest, so, Métis, I'm out. <laughs> no problem, Métis, I understand. Thank you. I absolutely will be a customer. I can easily <laughs> fill up with my immediate family, 33 people <laughs> on the boat. Um, private so... sailing for Manjeet and Co. <laughs> um, but I'm not sure how um, I even manipulate the math that I can get my gold blooms out. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to be out. You know, the only thing I think is that you have to go beyond 33. I'd go to the max of 45. Yeah. You're gonna make a heck of a difference to your bottom line. But I'm out. I do think it's a difficult business model for me to try and get involved with. You know, my, my slippers say something really interesting <laughs> on the side, you know. Don't give up the ship. Don't give up the ship, because I think you're onto something really terrific. Uh, but unfortunately, I'm, I'm going to have to be out on this one. Okay. Ahoy! All right, Ahoy. mateys. Come along, well mateys. Right this way. We'll make our way out. The sun is shining, and the weather's fine. The seas are fair. <laughs> Thank you. That was cute. They that were cute. cute. Weren't they oh, fun? Oh, man. Salt of the sea.